today we're talking key safes. Now, if you've got HMOs or any sort of rental properties actually, but particularly for HMOs, then key safes can be an absolute lifesaver. Saves you from being weighed down with these huge bunches of keys, and also it saves you from not having the right keys when you're at, at a property. And so for us, it really helps us to provide a better service to our customers, and it helps with our business efficiency. So what's not to like? In this series of HMO tips, we're bringing to you what we do behind the scenes to help our business running smoothly. It's the little things that have the big impact. Last week, I talked about how to organize your keys on the key ring so that you know every key for every door is labeled fully and you only need one attempt with a bunch of keys to get in. You don't have to try each key four times to get into your houses. So if you haven't seen that and you're still struggling with the keys, then I suggest you go back and watch that video first. That's HMO tip number five. That's number five. So watch that and then come back to this one. So why key saves? Why we love key saves is because uh, if a tenant gets locked out, then we're able to get them back in really quickly. We can offer check-ins at the weekends or late at night, so it gives us that bit more flexibility to meet our customers' needs. So if somebody is travelling to move in from far away and their flight's not arriving until 9pm and they're not going to get here until 9.30pm, they can still check in at that time without us using the key safe. And then, as you know, we like to do our own check-in checklist and go through things with people in person. So, and I will do a video about that because it's, it's, it's really good, that stuff. Um, but we would then organise that check-in after the person's moved in. So key saves allow us to do that. It also allows us for our contractors when there's an important, uh, an urgent issue that needs to be fixed. Our trusted contractors can go in using our key saves. It means our cleaners don't need to go around with 12 huge bunches of keys because they can use our key safes. And we can access all the properties if we need to go to a property at short notice and we don't need to go back to the office and then back to the property because we can access the properties all the time if need be. So it really is, um, it really is useful for our housemates and for ourselves and really adds to our business. So let me show you what we actually use. The external key safe we use is outside of the properties in a discreet location, but it's very important for security that this is a police approved key safe. And the one we use is called the Supra C500. And we get that from the key safe company. And those are costs with a 5% discount, we buy six at a time, it's £47, £45 each and we think that that's an absolute bargain for the flexibility that they give us within our business. And for the internal key saves, I'm going to write those down in the, uh, yeah, in the, I'm going to write those down below so you've got all the details along with a link if you want to use them yourselves. And now I'm just going to show you what they actually look like in the house. Okay. And this is just to show you what the internal key safe looks like here. So let me know in the comments, what do you do with your keys? Do you use key safes? Would you like to use key safes? Do you think there's a better way? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to run your own rent to rent business, change your life, maybe sack your boss, let me tell you about our course which is coming soon and it's called Getting Your First Deal. Maybe you've already been on a course but you're still stuck. This course will take you step by step, working every week with me. It'll give you the scripts, the tips, the templates and the mindset to keep taking the steps you need to take to get yourself off the starting marks, off the starting rank and flying in your new business. So if you're interested and you want to register so you're first to hear about it because we will only take a first group, uh, we will only take a small group for the first one. So if you would like to know about it, register below, the link's below.
And for all of you HMO heroes, whether you're an experienced HMOer or you're just going into HMO property investing, we'd love to see you in our HMO Heroes Facebook group. So the link for that is down below. Come over and say hi. We'd love to see you over there. That group is for information, inspiration, motivation, and to continue the conversation. So I can't wait to chat to you guys. And if you found this video at all useful, give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe, of course, and share it with anyone you think would find it useful. Apart from that, guys, I will see you next week. Bye for now.